What is up with you guys? I do welcome to my channel. This is your boy, and I'm back again, guys. Hopefully, you're having a good day or you've had a good day. Looking forward to this new week as well. So, guys, make sure you subscribe as well. So, we've got these very beautiful shoes I do love. I will show you in a couple of seconds just what I'm looking at. This is not a commercial shoe. Bam! Big ups to sell supply every single time. As I said, this is not a commercial shoe. It's not a shoe which is, you know, oh, big pardon for the masses, but it's for those that love brown things in winter time and i'm one of them as well i do love how you've got the brown leather which is in contrast to that kind of reddish rock type of you know um stone from mars and then you've got the blue as well which is beautiful lovely this shoe is underrated this shoe is underrated i'll say that again and i'll be getting myself a pair so for me i do like you know different shades of brown and i think with this shoe i'd wear it now and again not very often probably six times the whole winter time but it's i think it makes for a perfect outfit now and again just to look different and separate from the rest as well so we'll look at the shoe itself and we're going to the resale value we'll speak about the materials and we'll speak about also the outfit that you can wear to complement the colors on the shoe so first things first this shoe will not resell and make any money so now that's out the window we'll move on to the colors and the aesthetics and the materials on the shoe so We'll start with the front, as you guys can see, with the tall box. It comes in that lovely suede finish, as well as on the side panel, just where the tick is. You've got that lovely red stone effect as well. And also, while it's on the side, as we move along to the top back section there, you've also got that red stone panel at the top there, which goes to the back on the ankle part of the shoe. Now... Bringing things back a little bit to the front on the toe cap, you've got that lovely grainy brown leather, which is also on the side panels there, along the laces, and it also cuts just right behind the tick. And then you've got the leather as well on the blue tick, which is so beautiful. And who would have thought that this color would work, but it does. Kudos to whoever designed this shoe, came up with the color scheme. Shout out to you. Yeah, goat. And then you've got that beautiful um, midsole that comes in white. I think to be honest, I think the white midsole is always a good place to start when it comes to designing your shoes, such as a Nike Dunk Low. So that color is beautiful. Then you've also got the outer sole that comes in that lovely brown, which is I call it mocha brown, which you know which matches the rest of the shoe as well. So now as we move on to the outfit idea, so as I say, guys, for me, I know how I'd wear this. I would definitely buy some cargo pants that come in brown. Now, if you love Travis Scott and Cactus Jack and you've bought some clothing, a parallel from the past, you can probably just use that as well. But if you haven't, then you can look no further than the Essentials Fear of God. They have got um, some brown, deep chocolate or, you know, dark chocolate, which is off that color as well, which you can wear, I think, either the tracks or bottom in that color and maybe wear like a bit of a light brownish top as well or either vice versa i think if you wear the dark brown i think as a full tracksuit set i think it does kind of oh you know it's a bit over the top but if you wear maybe like a light shade of brown then wear like a darker brown as well i think that kind of gives it a little bit more of a, a balanced i guess like you know look about it so that's how i would wear this shoe so also another interesting thing to also focus on as well is on the tongue as well, you've also got the red stone background. I would definitely change the laces to some blue laces. If you can get as possible, you know, as close as possible to the blue on the tick, then go for it. I think if you have maybe one side white and one side blue, I think that would definitely, I think, make the shoe just a little bit more interesting as well. Because that blue is there to give you a bit of color as well. And also that's the inside as well. Again, that red stone theme continues. That's the back section as well. Beautiful. No complaints at all. So guys, I'm going to conclude this video right now. This is a beautiful shoe. I think this shoe is going to be underrated or available after release date. So you can still buy it for yourself. as a nice little Christmas gift as well. Guys, thanks for watching. It's been great. My name is Pierce and I'm out. God bless. Peace. Peace.